Hi there, it's Peter here, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. And in today's short screencast, we will look at what's new in the ScrollMagic 2.0, in the latest update of this popular scrolling library. If you've been following my blog and my YouTube tutorials and the demos, you're probably familiar with ScrollMagic already. So let's today discuss what is new apart from this introduction demo page of ScrollMagic. What is new in the ScrollMagic 2.0? Okay, the first, the main thing or the biggest improvement or feature is the remove dependencies. So you don't have to anymore include GreenSock or jQuery if you don't want to use them. You can use pure JavaScript, which will, which gives you more flexibility and makes the scroll magic smaller. So it's only six kilobytes gzipped. Number two is that scroll magic 2.0 now works with velocity JS. It includes, it's included in the animation.velocity plugin and it it's a great option for someone who's not familiar with GreenSock or doesn't want to learn new syntax. You can still keep using the dot animate, the jQuery dot animate method and animate your elements that way. Okay, the only thing with using Velocity.js is that it only works with zero duration scenes. So what that means that it only will trigger your animation, but you won't be able to scrap through the timeline using the scroll bar. Okay, so you wouldn't be able to do this. It will only trigger that animation or that twin at a certain point. Okay, so that's the only drawback of using velocity. But hey, if it makes your life easier and you're familiar with that syntax, definitely good, good, good feature in a scroll magic 2.0. Number four is easier debugging. Okay, so debugging in scroll magic was quite easy before as well, but now there are new features and also the performance optimization. Is, is now better. You can precisely control the triggering of your animation at the right time. You can exactly see when the animation starts, where it ends, and you can adjust the duration of it as well. Okay, so for perfect timing and precise timing, the new debugging tools are big improvement. Number four, responsive duration. Okay, number four, responsive duration it's a great addition if you want to create responsive scrolling websites. So you can set the duration of your scene in percentages. So 100% would mean the animation would, would last 100% of the viewport height. So you're scrolling down and 100% of the viewport height, something will happen. Okay, so I'm using 100% of this demo as well. So every time I scroll up or down, it takes exactly 100% of the skew viewport height. Okay, if you resize that window, I won't do it now, just because it wouldn't fit in the in the video viewport, but it will still last 100% of the viewport height. Okay, it gives you more flexibility for developing responsive websites. And the good thing, it also works with horizontal scrolling websites. Okay, so if you would have a horizontal scroll bar, it would still keep that 100% of the width of the browser, which is great for that horizontal scrolling website. Okay, and finally, number five is other updates. <laughs> other updates, better performance, removed a couple options and triggers, uh, removed the trigger offset, and lots more warning and messages. Okay, you can read the full change log on the GitHub page, but I covered the most important or for, for my point, which are the most important points. And there you have it, the quick rundown of what is new in ScrollMagic 2.0. You can visit a related blog post, which the link is under the video. You can read in more details what's new and what each of these features mean for us developers. And I'll be also turning this demo page into a code pen demo. So if you want to play with the settings and just play with the page, see how this page was put together, then you can sign up at the bottom of it. And I'll let you know when the code pen demo is live. Hopefully you learned something new about scroll magic. Hopefully this gives you overview of what's new in scroll magic. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, visit my blog or follow me on Twitter. 
and I'll see you next time. Happy coding, happy scrolling. Bye.